I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 27th day of September. Ah, the long-awaited change. The cool weather is happening, and still some chance of rain today with this deep upper trough overhead. Let's look at some of the sky cam shots around the network this morning. First off, up in northwest Alabama's Fayette. Hey, it's raining at 5 o'clock this morning. And it's cool. Temperatures are in the 50s. A different feel to the air when you walk out this morning. There's the Inverness Sky Cam, a little foggy there. That's from the uh, Wingate Inn overlooking traffic on Highway 280 at the ridiculous hour of 5.01 a.m. And pretty much the same scene there from Trussville on Chalkville Mountain Road. A bit of uh, fog there. And yeah, feels good. As cool as 55 this morning up in Haleyville. Coleman at 58, low 60s elsewhere. Birmingham at 63 at 5 o'clock. And there's the radar. Some pretty good showers there over uh, Fayette and Pickens and Lamar counties. Uh, the rain is fairly widespread to the north over much of uh, Lawrence and Morgan counties up in the Tennessee Valley. And again, with this very deep upper trough overhead, we'll have the chance of a few uh, showers and areas of rain today. Uh, but after today, things look pretty dry. Off to the east of the trough axis, there is a risk of severe weather today. From Tallahassee up to uh, Baltimore and Washington, D.C., that includes places like Savannah, Macon, Charleston, Columbia, Raleigh-Durham, Virginia Beach, and the Tidewater area. And the rain for the next five days. Uh, this is valid through uh, Friday evening at 7 o'clock, and uh, the biggest number is off to the east with a tropical low coming up from the uh, tip of Cuba. And really, look at the western half of the nation, dry as a bone. And in Alabama, after today, we go dry for a while. Check the uh, tropical weather situation. Uh, Dennis went, I'm sorry, not Dennis, Matthew went inland and dissipated. And it looks like the one that's going to lift out will be a separate system. And more than likely, that will get the name Nicole if that happens. That's the one over the Caribbean. And uh, things over the rest of the Atlantic Basin for now, relatively quiet. And really, I, I think the most of the action for the rest of the season will be that close-in stuff where, where the water has not been touched. Again, the Gulf is just ripe, and we'll see what happens. But uh, let's look at the modeling here. This is the uh, OZGFS valid at uh, 1 o'clock today. Look at the trough over the deep south. Goodness. Upper low is centered near Huntsville. And we wonder if in some of the showers today there could be a little small hail no thunder, no lightning, just a few little uh, maybe pea-sized hailstones because the air top is so cold. I haven't had that in a long time. And uh, down below that, the, obviously, the most organized convection will be off to the east of the trough, but underneath that cold pool here, uh, we're going to see some showers around today. And probably the sun breaks out at times as well, but just keep in mind uh, the air very unstable because of the cold air aloft. Tomorrow we're dry slotted. Should be a gorgeous day. I uh, understand uh, temperatures, well, forget the 90s, put it that way. Uh, most of the uh, statistical guidance, printing highs in the mid to upper 70s tomorrow with dew points in the 40s. And there's Wednesday. Wednesday morning, we could be in the upper 40s for some of the cooler spots. Everybody else in the 50s. And there's your tropical low lifting up there toward Miami. It seems to be fairly broad. If that gets a name, it will be Nicole. Thursday, we stay dry. The tropical low lifts northeast. And on Friday, it's uh, lifting out very quickly toward the Canadian Maritimes. And again, we're in great shape uh, all week long. Highs probably in the low 80s by Friday, lows in the uh, upper 50s. Saturday starting off the weekend, we've still got troughing over the east. The ridge is long gone, that nasty Energizer Ridge out of here. Down below that, a new surge of cool air drops in here. That'll push highs back in the 70s. What a great day for football there. That's going to feel just like fall. And uh, Sunday, we might start the day in the upper 40s. And again, the high should be in the 70s. And look at that, another tropical low coming up off the western tip of Cuba. And Monday, that thing just kind of sits down there in the Yucatan Channel while we stay dry. So again, uh, temperatures very nice this week. But after today, the weather will be dry. We'll go out there deeper in the month, four more days. This is the 9th of October. The tropical low is lifting northeast up toward the Bahamas. On the 10th, east of Daytona Beach. On the 11th, it kicks out. And again, nice cool air drops in here. And on the 12th, northwest flow aloft, dry weather. Look at the cold air over Canada. So the screaming message, number one, no Gulf hurricanes. 
Uh, again, I can't promise that's going to happen because we know beyond seven days this is voodoo, but the pattern seems to favor systems that run from the western tip of Cuba up in the Atlantic with no gulf action. And number two, dry as a bone here after today, which is not that unusual. Keep in mind, October is the driest month of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.